Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hello Dave. We're gonna start out this week in Elite. And again, it's been a very light week on news. Uh, there really hasn't been like any major things this year, apart of course from the uh, the announcement that console is not getting um, Odyssey and that they're not continuing to, to do any kind of developing on Odyssey other than bug fixes. But there is some news related to that. And I'm not really sure which kinds of news, it's more of a, a small little thing I wanted to mention. Last week, Frontier, they took down part of some of the Elite Dangerous servers for maintenance, which in itself is not a big thing. But this time, what they did was they didn't take the game servers down. They were still running and people who were logged in could still play. But everything related to logging in and account creation, all that stuff was all taken down for a short period. Why are they doing server maintenance specifically on account creation? It might just be completely tinfoil hattery that that's just what they're doing right now. I have a weak hope that that means that they are maybe looking into testing some uh, some solutions for account transfers for people on console. Of course, nothing has been announced, so I don't know. But I have my hopes up that uh, at least this could be an indication that at least they're doing something regarding um, account creation and uh, and the whole login side of, uh, of Elite. Fingers crossed that we're going to get some news regarding this in hopefully the not too distant future. Also in Elite, Project Greenfield has secured two victories this week. You haven't heard a lot about Project Greenfield lately. Um, and we have seen some um, opposition. Apparently somebody has decided they wanted to, to work against the project. I don't really understand why, but that's up to them. Um, and people have been trying to uh, to pull both the code and Terex into uh, into wars, which they did, but they were way off on their timing, meaning that the two wars were not happening simultaneously. And and that means that what we would, would happen is we could focus our resources on, on, on the first war that started, which was the Terra X war. We won that without any problems. We could clearly see from the activities that the war that they were actually fighting were the war against code. So it seems like somebody's trying to flip the system away from the code. But as soon as the war with um, with Terra X was over, we could turn our attention back over to uh, to the war with the code, and um, we won that comfortably as well. So we simply just decided to instead of divide our resources out between multiple wars, we're going to try to focus more. Um, like specifically on one war, win that, then move over and take out the other one other um, afterwards, not to be defeated in detail. And that worked out great. Plan came out um, as we hoped. We won both of those conflicts. And um, well, we'll see. Um, we're going to keep fighting in the system. We're going to keep trying to uh, to reach our goal of creating a, um, a farming heavy in the system. Hopefully something that's going to be very stable in the future so people have some place they can go for all their Odyssey material needs. But we'll see how that happens. Um, again, I just want to say a huge thank you to all the guys who've been helping out. There's both been all the regulars who, uh, who help us every single day, but there's also been a lot of people coming out from the outside when, uh, when we reached out for help to, uh, to help us ensure those two victories. So a huge thank you to all you guys. You all know exactly who you are. Over in Star Citizen, the Star Citizen fleet manager is closing. This is a third party tool that allows organizations to get an overview of what ships are available um, inside their org. So if you have a large organization, everybody could use this tool. They could see which ship, which person had available to them in game. So that if you're looking for a specific ship for an event or you want to try it out, you could figure out who had that and, and then you could kind of um, use that to, uh, to, to, yeah, to plan your events to know what ships you had available inside your org. As of May 5th, they are going to, uh, to shut, uh, shut everything down. And it's a combination of um, time and uh, financial reasons, it seems. Um, I mean, obviously, apps like that is not free. You need servers and databases and stuff like that. And uh, it seems they've run out of money <laughs> and, and also time. Um, I don't know if the developers behind them uh, have stopped playing or, or what's going on, but at least if your or your org is using the uh, Star Citizen fleet manager, then you pr probably look for alternatives before May 5th as the service will be shutting down. For some more positive news in Star Citizen, we have six, yeah, six new vehicles being added to the in-game store in patch 317. This is something that was previously unannounced, but was announced, I believe, here over the over the weekend. At least that's when I saw it. We're talking about the Aegis Redeemer. We're talking about the Anvil Spartan. We're talking about the Argo Raft, the Hover Quad, which I'm really surprised to see this early for in the in-game store, but sure. The Drake Cutlass Steel and the Origin 400i. All of these ships are going to be added to the uh, to the in-game store with patch 317. 
So that means now you can go, you can spend your in-game money buying these ships. So that's great to see. Lots of new toys to play around with in-game. Um, especially the 400 I. I have a have a sweet spot for origin ships, as some of you may know. So I'm maybe gonna have to go and, uh, and do some mining and then collect some money and then go <laughs> and buy a 400 I in-game, which because it's a pretty boat. And then finally for the live stream tomorrow, there will not be a live stream tomorrow. Um, else I have other plans, some private uh, private plans I need to go and attend to. And unfortunately, my week is quite booked, meaning that I just decided it's just going to be easier just to cancel the live stream this week. So unfortunately, there will be no live stream this week, but rest assured that I will be back in full force next week. Um, videos should still be out as uh, as usual, so you can still expect to see the videos from me as you do on Wednesday and Saturday coming up this week, um, but no live stream this week, unfortunately. That's it for this week. Thanks a lot for watching, and also next time, I'll see you guys in space.